Matthew from Boston asks, which countries present the best Islamic banking employment prospects for a Westerner? I'm willing to re relocate anywhere opportunities may be presented. Uh, Matthew, that's an excellent uh, approach. Uh, whether you're West, a Westerner or not, um, ultimately the best opportunities for employment uh, are usually where the best opportunities for experience exist. And that is where the most transactional volume takes place. So for that, uh, the number one location is uh, the Gulf. Uh, and, I mean, you can say Malaysia, but uh, uh, we, you know, we're, we're quite uh, vocal about, uh, about the Malaysian experience, which has been that uh, there's a couple of uh, transactions, uh, namely the buyback transaction and the uh, resale of debt uh, instrument that, uh, that is really actually something separate from AO fee and other standards uh, used around the world. So Malaysia is actually not the best place to, to get your initial experience. Um, although Malaysia, you know, we've been there a few times and they are trying to change that aspect of their industry, but it does remain something sort of uh, insulated standards-wise from the rest of the world. So from a transactional volume, they have high transactional volume, but in terms of experience, we recommend places where where uh, global standards are advocated, which would be the Gulf and um, and then obviously the UK and coming along uh, coming along quickly uh, Europe as well. Uh, having said that, um, since you're in North America, there uh, are uh, there are opportunities, growing uh, growing number of local and commu community based opportunities in the U.S. Um, I was sitting next to Stephen Ranzini at. Uh, the G20 Islamic Finance Summit, and uh, he's uh, he's he's uh, working on an excellent Islamic finance uh, financial uh, product uh, out of um, uh, out of the Midwest. So uh, he, you know, there's there's a number of uh, local opportunities within the U.S. as well. So that uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to relocate outside of the U.S. For instance, so you can look locally. Um, sometimes the grass is greener, but sometimes it actually is greener. So I would say, in terms of volume, the Gulf, and in terms of experience, the Gulf or the U.K. Um, but certainly there is a lot of stuff happening in various other parts of the world. Uh, Kabira from Luxembourg. Uh, what are the options for a compliance officer? I'm studying for the ICMA Diploma in Islamic Finance at, at University of Reading in the UK. Is that a recognized diploma in the Middle East? Um, certainly, you know, Kabira, we cannot comment on whether something is recognized or not. Ultimately, it boils down to uh, what standards are being uh, advocated. So we can't speak specifically about Reading, but uh, uh, obviously, it's a it's a it's a renowned university, and. Um, and I'm, I'm sure that they have high quality education in terms of what standards are being used. That's uh, something you'll have to research yourself. And given that you are from Luxembourg, um, or at least based there, uh, there is a lot of stuff happening with the Luxembourg government. Uh, they were recently here in Dubai uh, advocating uh, Islamic finance uh, as a major, as Luxembourg is a major Islamic finance uh, hub in Europe. So, uh, inshallah, there are opportunities there, uh, whether for a compliance officer or otherwise. So, wherever there is Islamic finance, there will be a need for compliance officers. Uh, and in terms of the recognition of the diploma, you'll have to research the standards that they're teaching there your, uh, for yourself. We obviously can't comment. Moving on, Masroor in Bahrain. I'm an arts graduate and certificate holder from the Chartered Insurance Institute in the UK. I'm working in Bahrain with a retail bank selling asset-based products. How can I join the Islamic banking industry? Well, Masru, you're in the right place because Bahrain's obviously uh, quite quite a, a significant market player when it comes to Islamic finance, being the place where IOFI is based and being a place where several Islamic banks exist. So the best course of action would be to attend conferences to uh, forward your CV uh, via either electronically or in person to the institutions uh, and uh, just generally networking. I mean, the fact that you're, you've got qualifications, the fact that you're already based within the region, both are uh, advantageous.
Uh, Abdul Basit asks, I have done my MBA in banking and finance with a specialization in international banking. Where do I fit in the Islamic banking industry? Once again, uh, I think as we said previously, uh, uh, the fact that you, it's, if you've got a qualifications in banking or you've got experience in banking in general, this is something to your advantage. But uh, it would be important to try and supplement that with specific uh, Islamic banking experience or something relevant to Islamic banking. And that may involve doing a course, uh, either a formal academic course or a short professional course online or otherwise. And I think um, specifically in terms of getting experience, um, what we're referring to when we say experience uh, we're not uh, we're not just saying general experience, but specific product knowledge. Now, whether you get that product knowledge through an internship at a bank or through a, 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 a cert certificate course, uh, it, you can get that knowledge because when you walk into that interview, uh, you have to definitely know the difference between the various products. And if you have that, uh, you're obviously going to have a huge advantage over other people applying for the same job. Definitely. I just, uh, you know, I recall my own interview, I was specifically asked about products and uh, product specific knowledge is something at a premium within the Islamic finance industry. Hamidul in Canada asks, I had 12 years of banking experience when I moved to Canada. These days I work as a conventional accountant and I'm pursuing Ethica CIFE, hoping that I would be able to quit my current job and enjoy it. Islamic banking. What does Ethica Institute do to help those who finish their CIFE training and certification? Um, Hamidul, thanks for your question. Uh, we will get to that uh, momentarily, but I'll, I'll just uh, tell you two things that we do at Ethica. We, um, once you graduate from our training program, which lasts approximately four months and is conducted 100% online, you, um, you, are, you are given the privilege of a one-on-one -on -one career counseling session, whether conducted in our offices here in Dubai or uh, online or over the phone. And then, uh, so that's the Ethica's one-on-one uh, -on -one career counseling. And then the second thing that we do is what's called the Ethica Recruiters Database, in which we actually fast forward your CV to various uh, bankers and recruiters uh, globally. So that's, uh, that's how we try to help our uh, students. And alhamdulillah, we're happy to say that uh, people have come as, uh, as unemployed uh, practitioners and have gone on to get their jobs after the CIFE graduation. So alhamdulillah, uh, it, despite the bad market, there seems to be some uh, hope.